Oh my god! Um, this was my best day. <laughs> Surprise, guys! You're having a <gasps> move your hand. So cool. <laughs> I knew it. I feel really emotional. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> And there we have it, finally the birth of the new money-making machine, otherwise known as a child, is has been born, right? The new baby is upon us, the sixth in a long line of descendants of the Ingham throne, and uh, it's just yet another excuse to, well, for Sarah to do nothing and for Chris to... Uh, I don't know why he has kids. Money. It's got to be money, right? Because he does not give an actual fuck about the kids he has. And that is the God's honest truth, right? That's just not me hating. That is from watching and from listening to things and just seeing how he interacts with his children that he has at the moment. He does not know how to talk to his kids. You know, he still talks to Jace like he's a, a puppy. So, you know, and uh, Jace has been in this world for four years now. He must have learned how to, to interact with his child by now. But no, still not. Anyway, the uh, happy couple have been on Instagram. And uh, Sarah is thankful for life being given to yet another child that she can manipulate. Dear body, thank you. Thank you for growing, nurturing, being home and safely delivering my six precious children. Life's biggest miracle is the gift of having life grow inside of you. This body has given me six beautiful blessings and looks exactly as it's supposed to look. Well, the body or the kids? At this point, I'm not sure with Sarah. But now your job is done and it's time for you to rest and recover. Oh, isn't that lovely? Our family is now complete. 11th of October 2023. Funny that, Sarah. Funny that because yesterday was not the 11th of October, was it? That was two days prior. So, you know, when you said, oh, we're going to announce it in real time. We work in real time on Instagram. We're going to announce it as it happens. No, it was two days, right? Two days that you have been fobbing people off, but not you, Sarah. No, you have been on Instagram, <laughs> flogging things on Amazon right you've literally been sat in the hospital bed you know with the baby attached to you and feeding her and 
you know, flogging things on Amazon. That that must have been, you know, I guess a girl's got to work, right, Sarah? Isn't it? She ends up with a quote. Pregnancy is not just the growing of a life. It's the growing of a family. Wow. Oh, isn't that like... Yeah, but what do you do with that family once you've grown it? That is the question, you know. It's all very well, growing a family. You know, growing of a family isn't just giving birth either. It is, um, you know, allowing your children to flourish and grow as a human beings and develop and spread their wings eventually. That is what your aim is as a mother, but not, not so. Ingham now she wants to keep her kids as young and as um, dependent as possible that is what Sarah does now if if you thought Sarah was the only one to weigh in here you'd be wrong Chris had to have his little girl well obviously he's a father isn't he come on let's give him some slack you know and um yeah let's see what he had to say I'm sure it's gonna be epic Never have I been prouder of anyone in this world than how proud I am of at Sarah Ingham official. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely tag your wife, tag your wife. Don't call her Sarah or anything. Why not call her Sarah Ingham forever, you know? <laughs> Why not get Sarah Ingham official tagged on you, um, tattooed on you instead this time? She is a boss of all bosses. Never scared, completely fearless. Watching her over the last couple of days have made me really in awe of her as a person. I can't wait to share this story with you all. But why don't you... Then, Chris, why don't you share with us the story as it happened? Let us know on the gram here. Well, that's right. You want to save it for the uh, the vlog, don't you? To make money out of sharing it. If you were that proud of the situation, the proud of the birth, proud of your, your lady wife, you would share it and just, you know, you don't need money out of it. You don't need money at all, do you, really? If you were really doing this for the memories and not the money, then you would just share it and let us know. But no, you've got to wait. You've got to wait for the right moment that you can cash in as much as possible. Isn't that right, Christopher? Anyway, happy father. Happy, happy father. Happy um, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, Chris. Congratulations. But he wasn't the last person to weigh in. The eldest daughter has to have her say as well. I'm sure it's going to be poetic. Thank you, Mama. Is that Isabel calling her mum Mama? Or is it supposed to be for the baby? I don't know. I can imagine that. As well, calls her mum that. I just anyway, and obviously got to tag her mum as well. Don't just call her mum, but uh, yeah, at Sarah Ingham official for being the strongest woman I know. Well, she is pretty tough. That sort of battle axe type woman. I I've seen her on the vlogs. You know, she is quite strong, and giving us this beautiful gift. No words can describe how I and everyone else feels. I feel so lucky to be made an older sister again. And I can't wait to watch you grow. Oh, isn't that lovely? That was nice, okay? It wasn't bad. It wasn't anything to, you know, write home about. But it wasn't bad. It was nice. It was straight to the point. Said how you feel. You know, it was great. I would have to ask a question of you, though, Isabel. Did you get permission to post your baby daughter? <laughs> baby daughter. Sorry, force of habit. Your baby sister. Did you get permission to post your baby sister on your Instagram? It's not your baby, okay? I'm just putting it out there that um, just because it's your sister doesn't give you natural rights 
to um, put her out on Instagram without permission, you know. Not that Chris and Sarah can either, technically, right? Okay, but at least it's their child and it's not yours, I don't think. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bad taste jokes, okay? It goes back to the days where people used to say, oh, Isabel is like a mother to Jace. She still is, actually, to be fair. I mean, uh, more of a mother to those kids than uh, Sarah has ever been. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. That's not just me taking the piss, Sarah. Honestly, you have been a terrible mother, and yet you continue to bring children after children after children into the world. It's weird. It's wrong. And um, I think we can all agree, actually, that uh, what they're doing here is um, inherently wrong, and it should be stopped. And I hope that you've been sterilized, although I fear that you haven't. So good luck with everything, Sarah. Uh, you're going to need it, you know, six little mouths to feed and everything else right um but obviously more good luck required to the child for having sarah as a mother now aside from that that was obviously up to date news but uh, they are not quite up to date with their vlogs yet we're gonna have to wait for another few days until they're ready to release the the vlogs i thought i would um go back and review last night's uh tame affair but uh, it got me all hot and bothered um and sure chris did too with all his lathering good morning everyone welcome to today's vlog we've got a really fun busy day today well i say really fun i don't really know what to expect but we have my hospital booking in appointment it's like a booking in appointment like a pre-appointment when you get a cesarean section, you have like a, a, an appointment before your actual appointment. I think all they do is like, I don't actually know, take bloods, I think, to check what my blood group is. And I'm not really too sure what else they do, but we'll find out when we get there. I think they said the appointment's like an hour long. So that will be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I'm feeling so relieved that we're getting closer to the date and I'm actually still pregnant. Um, tomorrow is mine and Chris's wedding anniversary. Yes, Mila! What? No. Uh, <laughs> pardon? What did Prinny do? Please stop your children and yourself from shouting down the house, right? Ordinarily, I don't like this sort of behavior. It's quite lazy. If you want to talk to somebody, go and talk to them. Stop shouting through the hallways. But in your house, it reverberates, isn't it? I know it's all, the, it's all that marvel that you've got going on there. I don't know. Tomorrow's mine and Chris's wedding anniversary. And then the next day is time. Let's go. It's go time. It's go time. We I just arrived. I've got sandwich all down me. Nice one. I've got brown sauce all over. We stopped to fit the sandwich up on the way here. And it was a mistake because we got breakfast wraps and they were very good, but they were just messy as hell. So can you sort yourself out, please? Get some wipes on you somewhere. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> I'm just as bad. It's all good. Um, so we just arrived at the hospital. It's extremely busy. It's actually a really gorgeous day today. And I think everyone's just decided to come for a day out at the hospital. Yeah, not everybody's like you, Chris. Bringing the kids down for a day of filming at the hospital, right? Nice little day out for the fam. That's uh, the Ingham family way, obviously. Not not the regular family way. We don't have cameras and on-set film set sort of thing, you know? Because it's so nice. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, it's, I can't believe it's how busy it is. It's mad. It's taking us ages to back. But we're still, we're still like 20 minutes early for our appointment. I'm actually, now we're here and seeing the hospital, I'm so nervous. The sun's killing me right now. Why are you nervous? I don't know. It's just, no, it's happening it's, today. I, think, I know. I, I think we just. Do you know what? I think I, you just go through what, the procedure today, right? Do you know what's terrifying? What? I'm gonna have a baby tonight or tomorrow night, or we'll get the section the next morning. How so, terrifying is that? It's crazy. So we're gonna have a baby either tonight or tomorrow night, or the next morning. <laughs> Yep, that pretty much covers all the days, either today, tomorrow, the next day, or the next day after that, or the next day after that, or the next day after... You see what I'm saying, Sarah? All the days covered. So, um, yeah, you can have a baby. Isn't that fun? 
Isn't it fun that you can have a baby or you have had a baby as we've already been through, you know. I'm you've even got me talking as if this is <laughs> real time. It's not. Okay, this is just this was filmed a few days ago for those that don't that don't know. And we're done. We're out. It's a bit scary, wasn't it? No, no. Chris is terrified. <laughs> I'm not terrified, I just, just Chris Chris just comes out more scared than me, I'll just take my hair. <laughs> It's such a mess. Um, get off my pick and mix I'm gonna, I'm looking now. It. Look it. <laughs> so, having blood taken, I've been given some tablets to take to, uh, the night before, tomorrow night at 10 pm, and then 7 am the next morning, which is the day I'm coming in for the section. Spoke through everything, answered a load of, well, she answered a load of questions. It was really nice, actually, weren't she? It was a really nice a, a appointment where you didn't feel like you were taking up too much of their time. They were just like, really like, answered everything in detail. We ran through the whole process. Chris went pure white when she said about being sick, because lots of women are sick during like, in cesareans, which I already knew about anyway. And then Chris literally went white. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Give over! It doesn't bother me. I don't, I don't care if you're sick. No, he doesn't. Nice. Absolutely nice, Chris. Father of the year, mother... <laughs> mother of the year. Father of the year and husband of the year. Yes, doesn't care if his wife is sick. Oh, isn't that lovely? So loving. Okay, he just obviously doesn't like sick, so the thought of no, that. No, the sick doesn't bother me, as long as I know I'm not going to catch it and be sick myself. I don't care about the sick normally, otherwise than that. Why'd you go white then? Why did you not know, stop just, talking about she, it? When she started talking about it, it just, made me, it just made it feel all very real. Like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, it is your first baby, isn't it, Chris? <laughs> first time fathers, eh? You know, can't handle the pressure. Now, seriously, I feel like Chris is just, he's, he's a father, he's, um, he's a man, right? And us men, we get kind of queasy at these type of things. Women, they just breeze through it. Am I right? <laughs> I don't have a clue what I'm talking about, sorry. <laughs> Women, right? They are fantastic beings and they um have amazing bodies some more amazing than others oh, for fuck's sake sorry sorry i'm so sorry it's weird it does all feel really real now doesn't it yeah yeah I don't quite know. scary i don't know, <laughs> I, don't know. Oh, I don't have to ready you have to ready don't you but it's weird uh, i think i'll be fine we went I'm through not, everything we've got to be there at 8 a.m um, and then it'll be like that I go down for the actual caesarean at like nine, did she say? Yeah, ish, nine. Ish, nine ish. We can take phones in there for pictures and things like that. So that's really nice. I didn't even think you'd be allowed to do that. Yeah, we're not, we're not 100% sure what, 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 what we're not. Well, we're not 100% sure what we're gonna, what we're actually going to. Our priority, because I keep getting asked this question a lot. Obviously, our priority is delivering baby girls safely, and whatever we can document around that, we will. Yeah. But um, I still think it's nice that she told us today we can take phones and stuff in. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask a silly question, please? If it's not that important for you to film the the big events, right? Or, you know, have it for YouTube and stuff like that. Why is it so important that you have your phones with you? Why is it so lovely that the, she told you you could bring your phone in there no normal person is desperate to have the phone on tap whilst uh, you know they're giving birth to a baby that's not a normal person behavior i don't think anyway but maybe that's just me because I, I, I weren't expecting to be able to do that so that's good obviously no big camera equipment or anything like that but no film crew or anything like that, no, sir. Of course not. No, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have um, Steven Spielberg and his team in there. No, obviously not. Would they? Yeah. The fact that we'll be able to get stuff from in there in the actual theatre will be nice. Yeah. So what I take from that is that we should expect some footage, definitely, but using their phones as the camera, right? Because. Um, they're allowed to phones in there and they're allowed to film well they haven't been told they're allowed to film but nothing stops sarah getting her footage of the big birth and chris he definitely needs the angles and um just point it at the head please 
Chris, just saying, point it at the head. So, I don't really know what else to update. It just all feels very scary and very real. This time, eight years ago, we were heading to a hotel just now for our big family's night before our wedding, wedding meal. We had our suitcases packed because we were going to Florida for three weeks the day after the wedding. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought eight years later? I know, right? Who would have thought eight years later you would never go back to Disney? <laughs> Oh, Florida. Isn't that funny, Chris? Isn't it funny? I think it's funny, anyway. What the heck? Who would have thought eight years later we'd be delivering our sixth child? Crazy. And we've had two in between. It's <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh, in the sandwich shop today when I went in to get sandwiches, this is the most awkward encounter I've ever had in my whole existence. The lady, bless her, in the sandwich shop, she's like, there's your sandwiches, we've got long left to go. I was like, no, I've got... Cesarean booked in for in a couple of days time and she went oh lovely is it your first and I went no my sixth and she burst out laughing like I was joking and she was just <laughs> she was just in front of me like really laughing and I was like I'm not joking <laughs> and she just continued to laugh and I was like no I'm actually not joking and she continued to laugh and she went all right I'll see you later and I was like yeah bye yeah um I find it quite unbelievable to think that nobody th nobody knows that other people do have lots of kids right you cannot be the only person in the world in the history or the only woman to have ever birthed six children you know i mean that's is that a thing is people not think that's i don't know i think you're lying or just being over exaggeratory <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, actually, it is my six. Anyway, oh, it feels, oh, I don't know, I feel really weird. You feel weird, I can tell you do, you're acting weird. I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine. I just, um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm nervous, I'm, I'm definitely nervous. Life's going to change crazy, isn't it? In a, in a yeah. day, a day, a day it or so's time. It will. We'll be fine. I, I always say, like, when I fir first started talking about having a cesarean, I didn't like the idea of knowing the date. Because I felt like when you don't know the date, and it's all still to and it's all like spontaneous. It's like it could happen tonight. It probably won't, but it could. That's it's like that it all the time until it's actually happening, and then you just deal with it. Whereas when you've got a date, it's like no, it is happening. It's either I'm having it tonight or tomorrow night, or we're going in the seven a.m. the next morning. So it's like you have that date. It makes it feel really different. That's what it is, it's knowing, yeah. It's, it's knowing, knowing when it's going to happen. Yeah. When you don't, you, you kind of yeah. put it out of your mind. You don't worry about it until Sarah comes down and says my water's broke. <laughs> and then you, then you just yeah. deal with it. But, yeah, that's yeah, true. So it is, it is an element of that, knowing for definite when it's going to happen. Yeah. At the latest, when yeah. it's going to happen. Yeah, at the latest. Anyway, we need to go pick up the Asda food order. Yeah, Dave's getting, Get back, Dave's getting away with us. Go pick up the Asda food. I really want to do it at Belly Cast today. I've, I've got tomorrow and that's it. Yeah, we'll definitely do it today. We're going to go home, then we're going to go to us and I pick up our food order and then get back home to get Jason and the girls. Okay guys, we're home and it's finally, finally time. I don't know why we've been putting this off. Just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but it's time. So what exactly do you do with these belly casts once you've done them? Anybody else that's done one, let me know. Do you keep them? Do you put them in the garage like these do? What actually happens with them once they are done? I mean, it just doesn't feel like something I, I want, I'd I want around the house. I don't know. Maybe you hang them on the walls. I don't know. I don't know. To do the belly cast. I actually bought this cast when I was pregnant with Mila and I didn't get round to doing it. So, can't let this go to waste. Last pregnancy, it's time. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Not sure this is gonna stick to your bra or not. First one going on. I've put an old bra on. Is that gonna stick? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not gonna stick. What the heck? We've actually forgotten something. We've just forgotten the jelly. Oh no. Right. The jelly's going on. Now we're gonna get it right. <laughs> Genuinely making me feel queasy. I'm sorry, but it is. Maybe it's because it's Sarah and it's Chris lathering Sarah with all the gel and all the slimy gel all over Sarah's body. It's just... Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, but you're going to feel so rancid after this. I don't remember the jelly last time. We did one of these casts with, um, with Jace. 
I don't remember jelly. Do you remember doing jelly? No. Do you, Isla? I don't remember doing jelly. I don't even remember doing strips. I thought it was just like white something you just spread on. Like clay. So weird. Again. You ready? Yeah. Take two. All right. Strip number one. <laughs> going on. Whoa. I don't know if it's going to stick to your bra, like I said, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't think I wore a bra last time. I think no, I, I just did. think I just did it. But you know, the old ladies aren't as pert as they used to be, so. <laughs> <laughs> This feels like the most bizarre, sloppiest, wet sponge ever. Every man should have to do this to his wife once, at one point or another. When she's prego. S sculpts their beautiful body. <laughs> it just sounds disingenuous when you say it, Chris, because we all know that you do not find Sarah attractive, right? I know you must have, you must have touched her at least six times in your life. I know that, but... You know, the only time you ever find her anything remotely attractive is when she's pregnant. I find that weird. Is it like a fetish that you have? <laughs> Into a work of art. <laughs> Who remembers what we did with Jace's? With Jace's. If, in fact, we used it for his name reveal. Did we, yeah? We used it for his no, name yeah, reveal. We did, yeah, we right. Just a few minutes left to go. I'm so uncomfortable. I right actually now. think your bra might have to be cut off. I think, you. I think the bra is stuck to the plaster. Yeah, definitely is. <laughs> so we'll have to snip these, just take your bra off and then slide the plaster off. Hopefully that'll work. What? Um, undo your bra at the back and then slip it off your shoulders and then slip the plaster off. Yeah, and then pull the bra out. Yeah. I think it's stuck. Or I just might have to chop the bra out and just say goodbye to the bra, maybe. <laughs> it's I don't an know. Old one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's that so awesome. funny! That was great. Oh my gosh, turn it round. Turn it right round. It's actually, it's actually brilliant. That's where she is. That's where she is right that's now. So oh weird. my that's gosh. That's quite a big space. Well, I know, with all your organs as well, it's not yeah. really a big space, but... That is I think we'll have to hang it like so that for a while to let it properly dry. <laughs> wow, that is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hang up your uh, belly cast there by your bra strap, Sarah, and uh, yeah, I, I can't. I can't even imagine... What are you going to do with that now? Holding it up by my bra. <laughs> it's fully stuck in there. That bra that is not coming so out. so funny. Guys, 39 and a half weeks pregnant. This is a bad idea. And I thought it would be a good idea. In fact, it's your fault. I mean, it's a good idea, but just for sure. I don't I wish we had started it now. <laughs> and we thought it would be a good idea to do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, the kids did not do this. This is me and Sarah trying to reorganise this place. Well, the kids half did it. Half. What they do is, they clean up on a night after finish playing, but their clean up is actually just throwing everything into one box. Nothing's together, none of the toys match, and everything's just a massive mess and needs cleaning out. That's, I need that one. And just pass me that just in case I find what that's for, but I'm not too sure. See what I mean? Like, pile of miscellaneous. Like, everything is just such a bad mess in here. But not only is it just a big mess, it just generally needs cleaning out and, and cleaning, scrubbing. Like, all the toys need cleaning. Some need putting away because there's way too much in here again. What little, just a massive, massive mess. But now that we've pulled everything out, it's really stressed me out. Like, it was stressing, this play was stressing me out for, for months. But now that I've actually gone into it, like I'm really stressed out. Because no, I don't know where anything is that goes with anything. Everything's just mismatched. And it drives me absolutely mad. I think we should get rid of 90% of the toys in here. And just have a very small amount. Yeah. Like a couple of toy boxes and that's it. Mila, and then and then Mila comes in and starts emptying the boxes that I've no, just me, filled. Leave them, sweetheart. Rock and roll night, guys. Might be here a while. So that was pretty much it. It just ended with a segment of Esme playing her 
piano, even though she doesn't have a piano. Um, I can't stress that enough. She keeps claiming to be able to play the piano when she doesn't own one. And, you know, anyway, just my um, thoughts there. So let's end this. Sarah, Chris, you are f- mother and father again. Excellent stuff. Well done, you. You know, survived another pregnancy, which is fantastic. And uh, just got to keep keep this one alive as well. You've done well for the other five, the first five. And, you know, they've, they're still with us. So, you know, that's a plus, isn't it? You, you must be proud of yourselves. So, anyway, yeah, I'm just kidding around. Obviously, you know, I wish all the best for baby. And just hope that she ends up with strong luck of ginger hair that would be lovely wouldn't it so until next time please give this video a massive thumbs up comment all your thoughts about this down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new until next time take care of yourselves and bye bye